may be seated. <laughs> Friends and family, this day we have come together within the natural beauty of the lake and, the surrounded, and surrounded by these vineyards to be witnesses of the love which has grown between Joel and Wendy. It is this love that has made them realize that a life together, working in common goals and sharing the hardships and joys of this world, can be full of joyful meaning. It is their wish to express their love before God and their friends, to affirm their choice of each other as a life partner. Let us share with them their wish and promise of happiness as they commit themselves to each other and to God. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this union. We thank you for the love that you provide. Yes. Yes. And so, Father, again, we know that in their own strength, in their own love, mm -hmm. there will be struggles. So help them to rely on your love, your peace, your blessing to wash over this family, this house. And we thank you for it. We thank you that for the gift that Joel is to Wendy. And we thank you for the yes. gift that, that Wendy is to Joel. Mm -hmm. And we just bless those gifts. And may they be known, and may they be multiplied, and may they be, be um, used for your glory mm -hmm. to point to you in everything that they do. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Love, love is one of the highest experiences that we as human beings can have. Yeah. And it can uh, add depth of meaning to our lives. The central part of love is one of life's greatest joys. Mm -hmm. And when this is combined with real friendship, both are infinitively enhanced. The day-to-day -day companionship, the pleasure in doing things together, or in doing things separate, but in delighting to exchange experiences, is a continuous and central part of what a man and a woman who love each other can share. Wendy and Joel, as you approach the moment when you will make your vows to each other, realize that from now on, what happens to one of you happens also to the other. Your joys, your sorrows, your successes, your failures, and all that the future will bring will be a shared experiences and will have their effect on both of you. The words, I love you, first spoken shyly in the past, when it was not known if they would be accepted to return, are today spoken in full commitment of yourself to each other. Genesis 1, verse 27 through 28 says, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female, created he them. And God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish and of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. When we look upon the definition of replenish, it defines replenish as to make full or complete again, as to supply what is lacking. To supply fire, stove, and etc. with fresh fuel, or to fill it again or anew. God said to me, many things have gone through seasons. Many have gone through seasons of great loss. And as it has left them feeling hopeless, they look at the circumstances and it looks like total destruction. But now is the time that I am releasing a new anointing of blessing upon them. And they will replenish everything that was lost. Yes. It won't be the same. That's it will right. be better than before. Amen. Yes. God created man and released a mantle of blessing on his life that caused him to be fruitful and multiply. Mm -hmm and to replenish the earth supernaturally. The next place in Scripture where the anointing to replenish is found was in the life of Noah and his sons. The Bible describes that Noah was just a man and perfect in his generations, and Noah walked with God. Humanity had grown so corrupt and wicked in Noah's day that God decided that he would cleanse the earth through a great flood that would annihilate all life. Before the flood of destruction, God made a covenant with Noah, promising Noah that he would save him and his family. He gave him divine instructions on construct constructing an ark, ark of gopher wood that would protect them from the devastation to come. Mm -hmm. And as they went into the ark, two uh, and two of the flesh, 
uh, we're in the breath we're in the breath of life and they went in went in male and female of all flesh and God had commanded them and the Lord shut him in notice the words and the Lord shut him in there are times that God will do this with his chosen have you ever been shut in by God yes. I know that I have have you ever had doors closed to you that you could not understand why have you ever had to have people walk on on you, leaving you in a state of bewilderment? Mm. The explanation is clear. God sealed those doors and relationships off for your protection. Mm. This is a time for you to remember that you have a better covenant with God and Noah mm. uh, than, than Noah had with him. Don't be disheartened. I prophesy to you today, God is opening doors that have been closed off to you. Mm. And God is calling you to come forth out of your confined spaces. Yes. Then God spoke to Noah, saying, Go out of the ark, you and your wife and your sons, and your sons' wives with you. Furthermore, I heard the Lord say to you, It is time for you to come forth. When Noah came out of the ark, I blessed him, just as I did for Noah. I am doing that for you, who have been hidden. I am releasing a mantle of blessing upon you. You will be fruitful and multiply. Amen. Everything that has been lost will be replenished. Yes. Yes. And, God, and God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Mm. God is doing a quick work. His divine acceleration is coming upon you. Mm -hmm. You will accomplish in a short time what has taken years yes. and even decades for you to accomplish. The mantle of blessing is being imparted to you today. So, Joel, repeat after me. <coughs> I, Joel, take you, Wendy. I, Joel, take you, Wendy. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For loving to cherish. For loving to cherish. Till death do his part. Till death do his part. And according to God's holy ordinance. And according to God's holy ordinance. And to you, and to you, I pledge my faith. I pledge my faith. Wendy, please repeat after me. Mm -hmm. I, Wendy, take you, Joel. I, Wendy, take you, Joel. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold from this to day forward. To hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better and worse. Richer or poor. Richer and poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. To death do us part. And according to God's holy ordinance. And according to God's holy ordinance. And to you. And to you. I pledge my faith. I pledge my faith. The wedding rings serve as a symbol of the vows you have just spoken. They are their outward and visible sign of an inward and visible love which has brought your hearts together. As these bands symbolize the, the finest of earth's materials, so your love for each other is one of God's greatest gifts. As rings have no beginning or end, so they symbolize a love that never ends. Go and repeat after me as you place the ring on Wendy's finger. Wendy, I give you this ring. Wendy, I give you this ring. As a token of my abiding love. As a token of my abiding love. And with it, and with it, I give myself to you. I give myself to you. I promise to live each day with you. I promise to live each day with you. As a gift from God. As a gift from God. For all the days of my life. For all the days of my life. Wendy, repeat after me as you place the ring on Joel's finger. <laughs> Gotta remember which one. <laughs> Joel, I give you this ring. Joel, I give you this ring. <laughs> let's start. Let's start over again. Wendy, repeat after me as you place this ring on Joel's finger. Yeah. Joel, I give you this ring. Joel, I give you this ring. As a token of my abiding love. As a token of my abiding love. And with it. And with it. I give myself to you. I give myself to you. I promise to live each day with you. I promise to live each day with you. As a gift from God. As a gift from God. For all the days of my life. For all the days of my life. <laughs> Having witnessed your vows, mm -hmm. taking before these witnesses, before God, 
It's my pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Joel, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. and Mrs. Joel Gray. Yeah. Yeah. 